Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Juliet Jess here? This video is going to be quite sensitive, so just be prepared. So I wanted to talk about my miscarriage experience and if anyone is not okay with me talking about blood and all those kind of things then this video probably isn't for you but I wanted to upload a video about my experience to help out women that have experienced maybe something similar to me and I just felt like putting the awareness out there is so important and for people to talk about it more. So I'll start from the beginning where I initially had the symptoms and all that kind of stuff. So I, I kind of felt in myself that something wasn't right. I felt really bloated and I was really, really tired. So Ashley and I only see each other every other weekend at the moment, but at the time we were seeing each other every weekend and we decided that we were going to obviously take a pregnancy test on the Sunday when he was here. So I didn't think anything of it. I just thought maybe I was going to get, I was going to come on or, you know, because usually for most women, when they start their cycle, you become bloated or some people do, obviously not everyone, but yeah, I always become bloated and just feel yucky. So I kind of took it and said to Ashley, oh, you know, just flip it over because it was like a dish of digital one where it's like kind of yes or no or not pregnant, pregnant. I think that's what it was. So I set it aside and I was getting changed because I just got out of the shower and um, I told Ashley to look and obviously <laughs> he looked and he was like, I can't even remember what he said, but it was, he just looked and I just, he just looked like, he just like went white. And I was like, what? And he, so obviously he showed me and I was like, I can't believe it. Like, I just, I just cried and I was so confused and I was like, I can't believe this, what's going on? So from that point onwards, we kind of were just preparing ourselves. I was really emotional for like three days after it and I was crying and I was just so confused because it just come out of the blue and you know I just didn't know how to deal with it at all so after that initially I there was a lot of other things going on as well like I was supposed to start a new job which I didn't in the end so yeah there was a lot of things going on as well as that as this and it just threw a spanner in the works for both of us. But obviously it was a blessing because we, you know, when you have a situation like this, you, I've always said to myself, um, with anything, I will just take it with open arms and I will deal with it as the, the best I can. And that's how me and Ashley were dealing with it. And the funniest thing was, was, the night before I took the test, we went to Witherspoons. This is the most random thing ever. But we went to Witherspoons and we got some starters because I wasn't really hungry, but we were just like, oh, let's just get some picky bits. And there was one particular thing. We got the Southern Fried Chicken Strips. And I remember eating them and I was like, this literally tastes like metal. Like it literally tastes like metal. And I didn't say anything because I was just like I just whatever and I just it had it I had it in my mind and then I'm sure I told Ashley when we found out the next day that I was pregnant that I tasted the metal in these chicken strips and obviously that's a symptom symptom it's like a thing that some women have like when they're pregnant so it's like it totally makes sense like what that's crazy can't even remember where I was so yeah so obviously everything was going on, everything was fine and then everything kind of changed very quickly. So I woke up one morning and just felt like a gush and I was just so confused, like I shouldn't be bleeding. So I have obviously gone to the toilet and it's obviously bright red and I'm thinking 
what is this? Like, this can't be good. So my mum, obviously I told my mum, I won't go too much into that kind of stuff, but she suggested I call um, someone, I think it's the early pregnancy unit or something like that, called them and they said to just keep an eye on it. And if it gets any worse, then I need to contact my doctor. So I was due to work. So I initially started bleeding at around 11 o'clock. And I was due to go and work in a few hours time. And I obviously told my manager, I was like, I'm coming up in all the rash, what in the world? Um, I told my manager what was going on as I had already previously told her for safety reasons. And I decided that I wanted to go into work um, because I didn't really think, I didn't think it was going to change. So I kind of laid down and it was the weirdest thing ever, like whilst laying down, because I, I told Ashley that when I was doing nothing, the bleeding seemed to stop. But I think obviously it was just me maybe in my mind thinking that. But I was laying down and I had just like a sports bra on and some tracky bottoms on because I was watching kind of thing, my belly. And every time I cramped, my belly would literally like move and it hurt like a lot. And that's when I kind of knew that obviously something was happening and it was out of my control. So I stupidly went into work and obviously I was very emotional and I was crying before I started work. And then I was talking to a colleague and I just said, I need to go upstairs and it just got worse. So I obviously sat there and I cried my eyes out and called again this early pregnancy unit and they told me that it was more than likely a miscarriage and that I should probably contact my doctor for further kind of, you know, just to make sure that I'm okay and that's all they could really do. So I ended up going home and obviously Ashley was at work so I kind of waited for him to finish, sorry. So I waited him for him to finish work. He was going to come once he'd finished work and I had to wait until the next day to contact my doctor. I think the reason why I'm getting so emotional is because I haven't really spoken about it at all. And kind of going through everything again just you know, it brings a lot up. So yeah. Throughout this whole time, I was bleeding so heavily. Like it was not like a normal period. It was just full on. And I was so uncomfortable the whole time. So emotional and, you know, wasn't sure what was going on. You know, this is my first pregnancy and I just no one tells you any of this stuff. So the next day comes and I call my doctor straight away. As most people do in the UK, you have to phone hella early. Most of the time you don't even get through. And I had to have just a phone call with my doctor because at the time that's all they could provide. So When I called up, I obviously had to tell the receptionist, you know, I think I'm having a miscarriage. And she was like, okay, um, I'll try and get someone to contact you as quickly as possible. So I had to wait. (laughs) And I think it was, that was like eight, half eight in the morning. And I didn't hear back from someone until like 10, maybe 11 o'clock. And so... Once I got through to my doctor, obviously explained everything that I felt and I told her how many weeks I was and she was like, yeah, that's, that definitely sounds like you have had a miscarriage and there's nothing obviously you can do. She, um, suggested that I had some time off. So luckily I had a week off anyway because I was supposed to be visiting Um, Ashley's family because we're obviously long distance we're only an hour and a bit away but you know I don't get to see his family as much 
um, because of work. So I'd already booked off a week anyway, but I was due to go into work the next day. Um, but obviously, thankfully, work were like, it's okay. You don't have to come in. Um, just take the time that you need. So I was very thankful that my doctor said, you know, you need to take as much time as you need off to recover and obviously grieve. Me and Ashley still went to um, London to see his family because I thought it would help with, you know, getting away and having our own space and just being with him. Sorry, I'm crying so much. There's going to be so many cuts in this. Everything that I felt whilst pregnant, you know, the bloating, the sickness, I was so tired. Everything that I felt was completely gone. And it was the most bizarre thing ever. I just couldn't get over it at all. And I just have been so lost this whole time. I'm using kitchen roll because this is all I've got to wipe away my tears. And the only reason why I have wanted to talk about it and I have been talking about it so much, especially on my social medias, is because I felt so alone and was totally clueless that this could happen. Um, and I wanted other people to be able to feel like they could reach out and talk to people if they needed to and if they wanted to and that there are people out there that can help. That's why I'm kind of making this video as well is so that other women and obviously their partners too, they're valid to feel upset and, you know, grieve for as long as they want. So yeah, I think that's kind of all of the story. As I said, I am still kind of recovering and grieving from it. And I will probably never ever forget this experience and once I have children in the future I will always tell them to. I know it will get better and I have been getting better. Um, streaming has helped a lot, talking to other people and I've been talking to some women as well you know with how their body have, has changed and like you know everything just just pe talking to people in general has helped so much and I'm so thankful to anyone that had reached out to me in that time because I really needed it and yeah I just I can't thank anyone enough for that. So I will probably put in my description of some charities that um I had found out about during this kind of situation and any information as well that could help anyone else that is either going through it or worried about it or anything just to help out and obviously I am contactable too through my um, DMs through Twitter or Instagram or wherever and I'll obviously link them down below as well because I want to be open to anyone that has is struggling um, or going through this because when I was going through it Yes, I wanted my alone time, but I felt like when I was talking to people and hearing their experiences, it helped me a lot. So just to end this video, again, if anyone needs um, any help or just someone to talk to, I'm always there to, to talk to. And yeah, I don't really want to say I hope you enjoyed this video because it seems wrong to say that. I hope everyone has a beautiful day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.